in episode 5 of Marvel's Hawkeye, uh, we see uh, this, this frame of Kate or Hawkeye uh, storing a bow above her door frame. I'll show it right here. And uh, this was shared amongst uh, a few archery communities and it's obviously prompted quite a few questions. Uh, the immediate response being, wait, that's wrong to, no, actually that's fairly normal. Wait, 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 hold on. And there are quite a few different things, depending on how you see this. Um, because there are things which are almost stereotypically meme incorrect things about this, but also things which are technically okay. So we'll go through um, what is wrong with this video or this scene by going through how people stall bows. If you're watching this video, you probably know what a bow looks like. This is a bow. Uh, that's what it looks like when it's fully strung and you can shoot it, don't dry fire of course, that's your bow. But uh, what do you do when you're not using it? How do you put it away? How do you store it? And well, you could leave it strung. Um, you could leave it lying on a table or a bench. Um, you could, if you want to hang it up, you can hang it up um, by the string like this. Um, you can hang it by the string like that, um, or it should be the other way around really, like that. Um, on a peg or a hook, or you could um, have pegs um, or a stand where you hold it up like this. And they, these are all acceptable ways. Now, a lot of people would jump on and say, you should never store your bow strung. Uh, and that's pretty common advice, and that's actually fairly agreeable. A uh, couple of reasons. One, if you leave it for a long period of time, um, especially for traditional wooden bows, you may find that the wood will set. So it will keep its shape when it's strung. So when you unstring it, it will retain its shape. And what happens is that um, it effectively loses a lot of uh, draw weight or power um, because it no longer flexes as much. Um, with modern materials, especially with fiberglass coated uh, bows and limbs, um, this is far less likely to happen. Um, but out of good practice, we prefer to unstring bows when they're not in use. That's another reason is actually more of a, a human factor is that when people see a bow strung, they'll pick it up and pull it back and they'll dry fire it. That, that, that's what people do. Like you see like your, your, your nephews or your nieces come over, they go, oh, look, give me that. And they'll take it and they'll pull it back or one of your friends will just pull it back and dry fire it. So it, it's kind of like having um, a gun with a loaded magazine. Um, we don't want people just picking it up and pulling the trigger. Likewise, a bow that's you know, strung, and it's, even for temporary storage, people will be inclined to pick it up and pull it back so um, we generally try to avoid that that said though if you are planning on using it like right away it's okay to leave it strung so you don't have to unstring the bow after every shot and then restring it um, you can leave it for a day or a week if you intend to use it a lot and use it regularly it's only a really long term storage where we don't recommend that we keep the bow strung so by following best practice and unstringing the bow for storage, we come across a couple of problems. The first problem is that the bow now looks like this. And it kind of loses that iconic look of a strung bow. You don't have that really cool bow shape. It's now like a straight stick or a curvy streak. And a lot of people won't recognize it as a bow. So you kind of lose that cool factor. The second problem, which some people don't really think about is, what do you do with the string? Because it's not really on the bow anymore. So you need to find a way to keep the string with the bow. And that's why you start seeing these reverse strung bows. A very common meme that we have in archery is we see like stock images or like eBay photos of people selling bows with the bow strung backwards and they're pulling it back. And it's laughable because it just looks so, so wrong. And this is a mistake which is repeated tons of times from uh, stock photographs to uh, live action short films where people don't know how to string a bow so they put it backwards and it just looks really bad and uh, that unfortunately is quite common and uh, worse than that it can cause damage to the bow. The bow is meant to flex in one direction not the other so this sort of thing is really bad. But can you store a bow that way? And this is where things get a little interesting. 
So this is a, a bit before my time, but in the 1960s, from what I've heard, it was actually not too uncommon for uh, longbow shooters to string the bow backwards and store it with the string uh, on the bow. And the rationale was that as long as you don't put too much pressure on the uh, bow, that it's not too much tension on the bow, then it's fine. As long as no one takes it and tries to draw it backwards, then you can in fact store a bow with the string um, on backwards. These days, no one really recommends it. Even back then, it wasn't a, like a universal thing. Like We always never recommend you put any pressure the other way on a bow in order to string it. Um, so that's uh, something which people might have done in the past, but we really don't recommend. Uh, no matter how durable the material, it is designed to work one way and we just don't want to risk any of that, especially when we have these beautiful handmade bows. We generally don't want to kind of make it crack or bend the wrong way. So that's, that's one thing there, but it has been done and it can be done. So it's actually not implausible to store a bow that way. And I am hesitant to try it with this bow because it is quite an expensive bow. But uh, as you can see, I don't really have to bend it that much to get the string onto here. So I could, if I wanted to, string it backwards for the purpose of storage. And it wouldn't cause a lot of long term damage. Again, don't, I don't recommend it, but it can be done. If the bow has to flex a lot more to get the string on, then that will be a lot more concerning. Um, if, if any more than this and you have to push it to get it more, then that's a no-go. You're more likely going to damage the bow. So how would you store a bow? Well, there are a few ways to do so. Uh, unstrung, of course. Um, one is to uh, put it on a rack like this. Again, you probably want to have your pegs or your um, rack uh, measured out so you can sit comfortably like this rather than on the limbs itself. Um, you want to put it near close to the riser. Um, you can uh, hang a bow if you have appropriate hooks. Um, even with only one end uh, on the tip, you can have the bow strung up by a hook like this. Uh, one of the issues, of course, is what do you do with the string. You could remove it and store it separately, which isn't a bad idea, but often people lose these strings. Um, if you want to keep the string with the bow, you can use an elastic band or rubber band to um, keep the string on the bow, which is fine. Or you can use a, a string keeper like this. Um, it's basically a, a bit of a leather or cloth pouch. You slip it on the top of the limb tip and there is a hook um, or band which you can put onto the string to keep it from slipping off. That's one way you can do that. So is Hawkeye's bow strung backwards? Yes it is. Is it stored incorrectly? I think most people would not rather store the bow this way but it has been done in the past and people, some people will still do so. Um, it's not wildly inaccurate, let's put it that way, because while you will see people incorrectly hold and use bows backwards, storage is a little different. You can store a bow like this as long as the limbs are not under too much tension. Uh, if it's too much reverse curvature, that is bad for the bow, it can cause damage, and if you pull the bow backwards, then that's going to cause uh, pretty much irreparable damage. So to end with the question, how do you store your bow? Post your thoughts below. Thank you all for watching, hope you found this interesting and informative. Shoot well, be nice to yourself, and we'll see you next time.